Hello everybody to the world Hello everybody I would like to say hi I would like to say hi to the world again Hello everybody to the world again Hello everybody I would like to say hi Hey fam, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're seeing this face for the very first time, hey boo, what's up? It's Melo. Thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for clicking on the watch button. I'm trying to look less crusty without the bandana. So let me get started with this video, but be prepared, be warned. This is going to be a long video. So get you something to drink and chill and relax. But don't have a Have a notepad, have a pen, have a pencil. Have a piece of paper and get working. So guys, March 2021, I decided to take my life seriously and I started visualizing and manifesting. And here we are, almost 365 days later. So I want to share with you guys my 2021 goals, uh, more specifically my highlights and my lowlights. And I want you guys to keep in mind that uh, especially looking at the low lights yes i might have not achieved those particular goals but one thing i'm very proud of was that i built a very strong foundation and i will take it from there so if you are a regular regular day one you remember this book you remember seeing this book on my channel and uh, this is my vision book and this is when i started planning for my 2021 goals and my word of the year was dedication i also had like four goals what which were personal spiritual social media and fitness and health this is how i'm going to go about it. i'm going to mention the goal and then i'll mention the highlights and the lowlights if i do have any so firstly with my uh spiritual goal uh my highlights were that i've been praying more often and i've been showing gratitude i've been reading scriptures and connecting uh with the scriptures and uh it's been going very well so spiritually she's grown she's grown and i haven't had any low lights with that and then moving on to health and fitness goals my highlights with that that i've been more cautious about what i eat don't just eat anything hmm, you're gonna hear the low light and then i've also been very active i, I don't even have to go into detail with e e fitness and health and then looking at the low lights of fitness and health were that uh sometimes out in out uh is it called emotional eating i think it's called emotional eating there were times that i wasn't well emotionally mostly when i'm under the weather and then oh i'd binge eat like it's getting out of fashion and then uh also with being active there were times that i would just uh have burnouts just go like a week or two without working out and i would feel sorry for myself and then another thing was that i wasn't getting enough sleep the only time i've been getting uh, like a decent amount of sleep was um just woke kalen konyaka while i was off socials which only makes sense like i haven't been fiddling with my phone when it's time to sleep so so i haven't been struggling with getting a decent amount of sleep so but before before i took a break that was a low light so like it's something that stood out so it's only recent that i have been getting a decent amount of sleep and looking at my social media goals now oh i'm so proud so my goal was to have uh 250 subscribers and i am sitting on 300 plus subscribers and another goal was to have uh one video that has 500 views and one video has about 1.2 i think 1.2 views and yeah i'm so i'm so happy like guys that was like the highlight of the year for me and then also my other social media goal was that i had to be consistent and upload weekly and that has been going well honey well not until recent <laughs> but that has been going very well for me and then to mention my low lights uh one of them was that i didn't have a balance between my socials as you can uh tell with my highlights my highlights are only based on my youtube channel so i didn't really pay attention on my other socials and then the other thing was that i didn't spend on brands <laughs> because if i can show you on my vision board oh i had these so i had I had these these are like makeup brands 
um the uh, the goal was to spend on brands so that uh, i can easily mention them on my socials and i can get some recognition so uh, i don't want to be negative so i'll just say i didn't have enough funds to spend on uh on those brands so yeah but one thing for sure i am swiftly moving away from five friend shop no shade no shade so yeah we we're looking at spending on the brands so that they can recognize the sis uh yeah that's about it with the social media goals and then moving on to a very long list of personal goals so like i said at the beginning of this video one thing i'm very proud of was that there's a solid foundation that i've built for my for myself so most of my personal goals were not achieved but a foundation was built and uh and i'd be very disappointed in myself if i would just forget about Whereas it i've already built something for myself that will help me to achieving the goal so with my personal goals um i've been taking real good of my skin like my skincare has been pashash i had uh, this I for the representation of a uh, skincare and <laughs> The, this and this are supposed to go hand in hand together but i don't want to i don't want to talk about this i don't want to talk about this because now i'm celebrating my curls by cutting them uh, i don't know guys i i can't i can't grow my hair <laughs> like mm, i can't let's not talk about it and then uh i've been financially smart there is something that I was talking about finances yeah there uh stretch your rents significantly your money sorted so like uh i've been very financially smart uh the foundation has been built i'm so proud of myself and uh i'm not stinking rich yet i'm not wealthy yet but yes 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 and then also education i was studying last year if you didn't know uh 2020 i took a gap year and uh towards the end of 2020 i didn't think in my wildest dream i was going to continue with my studies but at the beginning of last year no no beginning of 2020 i didn't think of furthering my studies and uh late 2020 i did consider it and i did apply and then beginning of uh last year which was 2021 there wasn't any hope that i was going to study and then voila i'm gonna insert the date somewhere i just can't remember but it was um just a few days or a few weeks after doing this whole visualizing my life and all of that i got confirmation that i got a bursary so that's how i was able to uh, continue studying last year and then um another thing this is the very first time i'm mentioning this i haven't talked about it anywhere uh i have an npo and i did register it last year and i also created a website for it woo, 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 woo won't mention much of it though uh when the time is right i'll talk about it when like my focus is just on the npo and then i can talk about it in detail and then i got employed do we get employed? like guys i can never I, I i can never i don't know what is a leadership is it employment or is it like under education because even when i'm uh, compiling my cv i'm always confused i always ask my uncle where does e e, e leadership go under e work experience or under education but yeah i also secured that bag uh it was a 12-month contract i'm still on it and then my other uh highlight for my personal goals was uh going for driving lessons whoop 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 <laughs> and a vacay this was supposed to be uh, oh yeah i <laughs> forgot uh this driving lessons they were done and then a vacay there it is solo trips um <laughs> this was supposed to be like a trip to a different city a city i'm not familiar with but iguaba iguaba got me and it's in, I, I i was too scared guys to go to like a city that i wasn't familiar with and guess what ended up in Quebec. sorry <laughs> and then my last uh highlight for my personal goals was reading but there's there's like a question mark with this uh highlight because i wasn't okay well it's a highlight because i did get reading uh more books but it's also like a low light because my goal was not very specific 
why am i reading because i just wrote on my goals i remember read about six books but i wasn't specific it, the, to me that was vague while i was reflecting to me that was vague like why read six books why am i reading six books am i reading six books to improve my vocab am i reading for like a financial knowledge what was it for but that's like something that i want to look to look at uh, in detail this year so yeah but i'm proud that i did get reading books so um i've read four books now i'm on my fourth book now so yeah that's something and then the low lights for my personal goals with the coin i don't think i finally no i never got it because i remember i was looking for like a bottle with coins I, I never got it so if you follow me on instagram or uh, facebook you might have seen at the beginning of the year i think that was the first week of january i showed you guys how much i made from collecting coins i uh made 800 rand the goal was to at least collect a thousand rand and i didn't so i know why i didn't because i kept on using the money so i know i was capable of collecting about at least uh, a thousand rand so that's why that goes under my low lights and then uh like i said i was studying last year I didn't pass all my modules i have one module that i didn't uh pass so i'm working on that this year and then <laughs> like i said i was supposed to travel to a different city a city i'm not familiar with like get out of my comfort zone but pe was like pizza, 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 pizza. And then lastly, I didn't get my driver's license. Uh, during the driving lessons, unfortunately, it was a very hectic time of the year for me. Um, it was during the passing of my uncle. May he still continue rest in peace. So I couldn't complete um, with the lessons. And unfortunately, my learner's license uh expired and now ladies and gentlemen let's talk about 2022 goal setting so my word of the year this year is consistency i've been and doing a lot of research on goal setting and uh manifesting and so, a few so a few things have changed on how i am going about planning for 2022 so for starters uh from my research I that, that i have to differentiate uh between action goals and outcome goals so so let me share with you guys my outcome goals so this year i don't have four but i have six outcome goals and they are personal development career finances spiritual fitness and health and uh relationships so those are my outcome goals and uh you're probably wondering so what are my action goals my action goals will differ from time to time and uh on what specific uh outcome goal am i looking at but in general my action goals are the planning stage the planning stage where i will be using like my notebook um my journals the calendar uh what else uh google reminders and google notes so that alone the planning is the action goals so for this video i don't have like specific action goals but i would just say that it's just the planning in general so as i have mentioned my outcome goals i have six, i have six of them i have one outcome goal that i will prioritize more than the other goals but not to say that i will ignore the other goals so i might as well not but have just them. to say like i will give my 110 percent uh for this prioritized goal uh where where like most of my action goals will be working towards my uh prioritized goal and my ooh, and my prioritized goal is the career so i want to prioritize uh career so i have to mention 15 reasons why am i prioritizing career i couldn't i couldn't oh by the way uh for me to get started with uh my 2022 goal setting i was watching at uh oh my gosh forgot her name forgot her name i'll insert her name on the screen and then you can have a look at her youtube videos they were so helpful so i had to like list 15 reasons why am i prioritizing career I was like okay maybe maybe i chose the wrong uh goal to prioritize 
but i was like okay even with the other ones i can't think beyond five reasons so i prioritized a career and these are my reasons uh, for independency gaining experience improving my skills enrolling for postgraduate studies and financial stability and i couldn't go beyond that i was like uh -uh, i can't i can't i can't that's about it so yeah guys i'm still working on my 2022 goal setting like i said like it's uh a little bit different to how i planned for 2021 but i love the foundation that i've built for myself um for 2021 so that's about it with um with goal setting of 2022 and another thing that i want to mention you're probably wondering what about e, e vision board because this all this is all where this started it started with the idea of having a vision board um i'm still indecisive of having a physical uh or a hard copy of a vision board i'm still indecisive on that but however i will create a a vision board on canva and i'll have that as my wallpaper on my phone and as well as on my laptop and yeah we will we will we're moving we're moving for 2022 guys i'm so proud of myself like i couldn't be any proud of myself and that's about it guys i, I hope you found this video very helpful and if you haven't started honey you are not late you are definitely not late you can always get started remember own lane own pace and yeah that's it from me peace out from the middle east don't forget to keep well and keep safe and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't i love you guys